Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I want to show an answer to a question that people ask again and again and again. So imagine we have a page and on the page we have an element and there's a button. And if a user or the test runner clicks on that button, then it changes something in that element. It could be a new data is loaded, maybe Ajax request happens in the app and then updates result. But we want to confirm that the text changes. We can click on a button, do this button do it, and that changes the text, right? And usually it happens after some random delay that we don't control. But the problem is we don't know the original text and we don't know the output change text. So how do we confirm that the text changes on a page without knowing the original or the final value of a text. The same thing can happen if your application is loading additional rows to the database, right, or loads the user profile. You know that something changes, so it becomes different, but we don't know the values. So here's how we do it. So right now we're just clicking on the button. We want to grab the value of a text before we do the action. So in our case, we'll get the output element, invoke text, which gets the inner text of that element, and then we get the text. Then we'll click on button. So we have to maybe save the text or we can just move the click inside the callback. So after we do the callback, we have to get the value of the output element again. And this will give us the change text at some point. At first it will give us the same text, but after you know, this delay, when the application is done updating, then the text will change. So in this case, all we have to do we have to confirm should not equal text. Again, we don't know what the change value will be. We know that it changes. So notice the assertion passed. And if I run the test again, notice how it retries, retries, and then changes. And then the test finishes. Again, original text, boom, changed. This all works because Cypress can retry those two commands, get output, invoke text, again and again. If the assertion should not equal previous text, or frozen error, then it goes back and invokes test. Now, in this case, it doesn't really retry both commands. It gets the output element, so it has the element reference, and then all it retries is invoking text again and again and again until whatever it returns is not equal to the text. We can shorten this command a little bit because Cypress bundles a chai jQuery, which has a built-in assertion to compare the text of element. Should not have text and the text. Okay, so this doesn't even print the text to the command log, but it just says expected this div with ID output not to have text original. So this is slightly shorter. Another thing that people can do is to save this text as an alias and then maybe use it later. I'm not a big fan. I think this is the simplest you can, uh, the simplest solution for this particular problem of change value on the page and comparing it uh, to the previous volume.